Hi everyone, in this video let's see about reduction of quadratic to canonical form with an example. Consider this question, reduction of quadratic form to canonical form. An expression is given, this expression is quadratic form. When the first step of reduction, we are going to find the matrix form for this given expression. How can we find the matrix form for this expression? Matrix A. Let us consider this matrix as A. In the general form of matrix we have seen all the diagonal entries will be coefficient of x1 square, x2 square and coefficient of x3 square. We are going to write as, as it. Coefficient of x1 square is 1. Coefficient of x2 square is 2. Coefficient of x3 square is 1. And then our remaining term, this term will be half coefficient of x1, x2. So half of minus 2 will be minus 1. And then as the matrix is symmetric, this x1, x2 and x2, x1 will be the same. So I am writing it here. Then the third term, x1, x3 term. Here there is no x1, x3 term. So we are writing it as 0. As there is no x1, x3 uh, the equivalent value x3 x1 will also be 0. The next term x2 x3 the coefficient of x2 x3 is 2. Half coefficient of x2 x3 will be 1. So uh, as x2 x3 is 1 x3 x2 will also be 1. This is the matrix form for the given uh, expression. Let us name it as A. First of all we have to find the eigenvalues. To find eigenvalues we have to find the characteristic equation that is determinant of a minus lambda i which is equal to 0. Uh, I am writing it directly a minus lambda i and if you want how to find the characteristic equation look into my previous videos 1 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda and 1 minus lambda. Here remaining elements minus 1 is 0 minus 1, 1, 0, 1 which is equal to 0. Now we are going to find the determinant in the next step. Take 1 minus lambda into leave the first row and the first column cross multiply the remaining element. 2 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda 1 into 1 minus 1 minus here is my again there is a minus so plus 1. Leave the first row and the second column cross multiply the remaining elements. 0 1, minus 1 into 1 minus lambda. Minus 1 into 1 minus 1. Minus 1 into minus lambda plus lambda plus 0 will be 0. So we are not considering. Now simplify this step 1 minus lambda into 2 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda. 2 into 1, 2. 2 into minus lambda, minus 2 lambda. Minus lambda into minus 1, minus lambda. Minus lambda into minus lambda, plus lambda square, minus 1. 1 into this term will be the same term. So, I am writing it. Leave the 0. Next, this one. Now, multiply this inside. 2 minus 1 into the term will be the same. Sorry, we can simplify this step. 1 minus lambda into 2 minus 1 will be 1. Minus 2 minus lambda will be minus 3 lambda plus lambda square minus 1 plus lambda which is equal to 0. 1 into 1 minus lambda into this term. 1 into this term will be the same. 1 minus 3 lambda plus lambda square minus lambda into this term. Minus lambda into 1 minus lambda minus lambda into minus 3 lambda plus 3 lambda square <coughs> minus lambda into my plus lambda cube will be minus lambda cube writing cube writing the remaining terms minus 1 plus lambda which is equal to 0. Replace uh, bring the cubic lambda at the front minus lambda cube then the lambda square values plus lambda square plus uh, 3 lambda you will get plus 4 lambda square then the remaining lambda values minus 3 lambda minus 4 lambda minus lambda will be minus 4 lambda 
and sorry you can cancel this both and write this remaining minus 3 lambda here the constant times 1 minus 1 will be 0 so I am not writing it now change the sign lambda cube minus 4 lambda square plus 3 lambda which is equal to 0 now we are going to find the roots of this equation Require the coefficient of this uh, lambda values 1 here minus 4 and then 3 the constant term is 0 so I am writing in 0 assume lambda is equal to 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 3 minus 3 or any values in the place of lambda in this equation if you get 0 now the assumed value will be the root here I have uh, substituted already and I found the 3 as root I am writing it directly here put 0 1 plus 0 will be 1 1 into 3 is 3 minus 4 plus 3 will be minus 1 3 into minus 1 will be minus 3 0 this is the reduced form of equation lambda square minus lambda into this lambda minus 3 which is equal to 0 you can write this equation as lambda into lambda minus 1 and lambda minus 3 which is equal to 0. Lambda into lambda minus 1, lambda minus 3 which is equal to 0. I am writing the same equation as it is. Lambda is equal to 0, comma, lambda is equal to 1, comma, lambda is equal to 3. Hence, lambda is equal to 1, comma, 0, comma, 3. This is the eigenvalues, eigenvalues for the given matrix. We are going to find the eigenvectors. The next step is how to find the eigenvectors. How can we find the eigenvectors? Substitute this eigenvalues in the A minus lambda I equation and you will get uh, three corresponding vectors that will be the eigenvectors. I am assuming, um, sorry, I am taking lambda is equal to 0 in the first equation. So substitute this lambda is equal to 0 in this a minus lambda i and you will get a matrix. 1 minus 0 will be 1, minus 1 as it is 0. The next minus 1 as it is 2 minus 0 will be 2. The 1 I am writing it as it is 0, 1. And then 1 minus 0 will be 1, which is equal to, sorry, here you will have x1, x2, x3, which is equal to 0. I am going for cross multiplication method to find the x1, x2, x3 values. Uh, in this cross multiplication method, we can consider either the first two rows or uh, the remaining row two rows. Uh, I am considering only the first two rows x1 divided by uh, the first row now uh, to find the x1 values hide the x1 part cross multiply the remaining other part minus 1 into minus minus 1 into 1 minus 1 minus 2 into 0 will be 0 then x2 here minus sign will be there in the general form itself uh, hide the x2 part, cross multiply the remaining other part, 1 into 1 will be 1, minus 1 into 0 will be 0, so I am not writing it here, x3, x3 divided by, hide the x3 part, 1 into 2 will be 2, minus 1 into 1 will be 1, and the next step x1 divided by minus 1, which is equal to minus x2 divided by 1, which is equal to x3 divided by 1. The values of x1, x2 and x3 are which is equal to minus 1, minus 1, 1. Simply I am going to change the sign 1, 1, minus 1. This is the eigenvector which corresponds to lambda equal to 0. This is the first eigenvector. Consider this equation as 1. Similarly, uh, when we take Similarly, take lambda is equal to 0, lambda is equal to 1, the next value and uh, substitute uh, lambda is equal to 1 in the a minus lambda i which is equal to 0 equation 
and find a matrix and uh, do the same procedure again and you will get an eigenvector. I am not doing it here, I am directly writing the eigenvector which corresponds to lambda is equal to 1. Similarly, take lambda is equal to 3 and repeat the same steps you will get then eigenvector which corresponds to lambda is equal to 3 that is our eigenvalue the eigenvector will be minus 1 2 1 this equation has 2 and 3 combine the equations 1 2 and 3 and form the model matrix M. Model matrix M is. Write the three eigenvectors in the column vector and you will find, you will get the model matrix M. You can write first uh, this one or that one, any manner you can write, but, but you must write only in the column vector. 1, 1, minus 1, this one, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 2, 1. This is your model matrix M. This is the model matrix M. We are going to find the normalized matrix. Normalized. Normalized. Matrix N. What is normalized matrix N? x1 divided by root of x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square. Then x2, the remaining term x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square. Then the new x3 value for the normal matrix will be x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square. We are going to take this value as x1, x2 and x3 in the first column and we are going to find the first normal and then the second column is the second column and then third column and find the normalized matrix n. n is equal to in the first uh, column x1 value is 1, 1 divided by uh, x1 square value is 1 square plus 1 square minus 1 square it will also be 1 square second the x2 value x2 is uh, 1 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square and third value minus 1 divided by 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square then the second column x1 value is this 1 x2 value 0 and x3 value is 1 x1 value 1 1 divided by root of 1 square plus 0 square will be 0 then again 1 square then as x2 value is 0 0 divided by anything will be 0 then third value x3 value is 1 1 divided by x1 value 1 square x2 value 0 and x3 value is 1 square the third column x1 value is minus 1 x2 value is 2 and x3 value is 1 minus 1 divided by root of minus 1 square is 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square then the second value x2 value is 2 and then square root of divided by square root of minus 1 square that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square 1 divided by root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 square Now I am going to simplify this step and write it. 1 divided by root of 1 square plus 1 square will be root 3. Then next again 1 divided by root 3. Minus 1 divided by root 3. 1 divided by 1 square plus 1 square will be root 2. 0, 1 by root 2. Then again, my, there, minus 1 divided by 1 plus 4 plus 1 will get 6, minus 1 by root 6, 2 by root 6 and 1 by root 6. 
This is the N matrix, normalized matrix N. Next step, find N transpose. That is one uh, interchanging the rows and columns. First, I am going to write the first row as first column. 1 by root 3 divided by 1 by, sorry, 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 6. Next, 1 by root 3, 0 and 2 by root 6. The third row as third column. Minus 1 by root 3, 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 6. In the next step, we are going to find whether the diagonal matrix is equal to n transpose a n. First, I am going to find a n. A n that is simple matrix multiplication. Our matrix a 1, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. The matrix we have found already. n matrix, the normalized matrix 1 by root 3, 1 by root 2, and minus 1 by root 6. 1 by root 3, 0, 2 by root 6, minus 1 by root 3, 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 6. A into N will be the 7 method. I am using here the 7 method. Simple matrix multiplication. Rows into column. First row into first column. 1, 1 into 1 by root 3 will be 1 by root 3. Minus 1 into 1 by root 3 will be minus. 0 into it will be 0. The next first row into the second column. 1 into root 2. 1 by root 2. Minus 1 into 0 will be 0. 0 into 1 by root 2 also will be 0. The first row and the third column. 1 into minus 1 by root 6. Minus 1 by root 6. Minus 1 into 2 by root 6. You will get minus 2. Sorry. Minus 2. 0 into will be 1 by root 6 will be 0. The next is next second row and the first column. Minus 1 into 1 by root 3 will be minus 1. 2 into 1 by root 3 will be 2. 1 into minus 1 will be minus 1. In the second row and the second column. Minus 1 into 1 by root 3 will be minus 1 by root 2. 2 into 0 will be 0. 1 into 1 by root 2 will be 1. Second row and the third column. Minus 1 into Minus 1 by root 6 will be 1 by root 6. 2 into 2 by root 6 will be 4. 1 into 1 will be 1. Then the third, third row and the first column. 0 into 1 by root 3 will be 0. 1 into 1 by root 3 will be 1 by root 3. One into minus 1 by root 3 will be minus 1. Third row and the second column. 0 into 1 by root 2 will be 0. 1 into 0 will be 0. 1 into 1 by root 2 will be 1 by root 2. The next third row and the third column. 0 into 1 minus 1 by root 6 will be 0. 1 into 2 by root, 2 by root 6 will be 2 by root 6. 1 into 1 by root 6 will be 1 by root 6. I am going to simplify in the next step you will get 1 minus 1 is 0 1 by root 2 minus 1 minus 2 will be minus 3 by root 6 the second row minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 will be 0 minus 1 plus 1 will be 0 1 plus 4 plus 1 will be 6 by root 6 the third row 1 minus 1 0 1 by root 2 2 plus 1, 3 by root 6. Next, n transpose a n. That is, this is a n. Now, we are going to multiply the n transpose with this a n. n transpose value is here. First row, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, minus 1 by root 3. Second row, 1 by root 2, 0, 1 by root 2. Minus 1 by root 6, 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6. The, sec the A in matrix, 0, 1 by root 2, 
minus 3 by root 6, 0, 0, 6 by root 6, 0, 1 by root 2, 3 by root 6. Now we are going to multiply this both. First row and the first column. See, all the, the column is 0. So, the first element will be also 0. Multiplying 1 by root 3 into 0 will be 0. And the remaining terms will also be 0. First row into the second column. 1 by root 3 into 1 by root 2 will be 1 by root 6. 1 by root 3 into 0 will be 0. 1 by minus 1 by root 3 into minus 1 by root 2 will be minus 1. First row into the third column. 1 by root 3 into minus 3 by root 6 will be minus 3 by root 18. 1 by root 3 into 6 by root 6 will be 6 by root 18. Minus 1 by root 3 into minus uh, plus 3 will be minus 3. The second row and the first column. Here the column first column is 0. Here it will also be 0. And then second row into the second column. 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 will be 1 by 2. 0 into 0 will be 0. 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 will be 1 by 2. Second row into the third column. 1 by root 2 into minus 3 by root 6 will be minus 3. 0 into 6 by root 6 will be 0. 1 by root 2 into 3 by root 6 will be plus 3 by root 12. Then third row and the first column. Column is 0. So the first element will be 0. Minus 1 by root 6 into 1 by root 2 will be minus 1 by root 12. 2 by uh, root 6 into 0 will be 0. 1 by root 6 into 1 will be the third row and the first column minus 1 by root 6 into minus 3 by root 6 will be 3 by 6. 2 by root 6 into 6 by root 6 will be 12. 1 by root 6 into 3 by root 6 will be 3. Simplifying this matrix in the next step we get the first column is 0. 1 minus 1 will be 0. 1 plus 1 by 2 will be 2 by 2 which is equal to 1 and 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 will be 0 and next minus 3 plus 6 minus 3 will be 0 minus 3 plus 3 will be 0 3 plus 12 is 15 15 plus 3 is 18 18 by 6 which is equal to 3 look at this diagonal this is our eigenvalue 0, 1, 2. Thus, this is this is n transpose a n, n transpose a n, which is equal to the our diagonal matrix. We know the diagonal matrix or the coefficient of square terms. So we are going to write the canonical form for the matrix form. The canonical form for the matrix is 0 y1 square plus 1 y2 square plus 3 y3 square which is equal to 0. 0 into anything will be 0. 1 into y2 square will be the same y2 square. 3 y3 square is equal to 0. This is the canonical form for the given quadratic form of equation. Thank you.